So in this scenario, I've got a deer across the way, quite a ways off, that I want to go after. So now it's time to plan my stock. When you're planning your stock, you have a few considerations. The first is the mover weight decision. So where the deer is right now, I have to decide, can I get there in time while he's still there? Or should I wait till I might catch him bedding or staying into a spot that I know I can take the time to get to that point? If he's out feeding, maybe he's feeding hard and I know that I, th I think he'll be feeding for a while. I've got a good line of sight and I won't have to go out of sight to get into a position to shoot. Then I would probably go now. If I'll have to get out of sight and will lose visual of that animal, then I might choose to wait. I'll sit back here, I'll watch where he goes, see where he beds, and then I'll have a little bit longer time to get into position before he disappears. The first factor you want to consider when you're planning your stock is where am I going to be stocking to? Now that's going to depend on where the wind's going. So we got to factor in the wind. Which way is the wind going and where am I not going to get busted? One thing that I always say is take the best route, not the easy route. So many times somebody will see a deer across the way and they'll just go, oh, it's easy if I go this direction. Well, if I'm going to be in sight of the animal, if I know that the wind might be swirling or not optimal, I will take the harder route of going around if I know I have less chance of getting busted. One major mistake that people do but when they're sitting at this, their vantage where they're glassing and they find something they want to shoot is they oftentimes think about stalking to where that animal is. I like to pre-plan and stalk to where I can get a shot. This might be pulling out my phone, turning on my mapping software and saying, okay, how far is it going to be from this ridge that I see in front of me to where that animal is. Maybe I pull out my rangefinder and I can actually range between two points, subtract the distance and say, okay, from here I'll have a shot. I also like to analyze the terrain and think, if I come up from this side, will I be able to look across the canyon, have a good rest, have time to set up, or will I be coming in from right above them, maybe have not as good a visual and be a little bit rushed. Once I've factored in the wind, stalking to a place where I can get a shot, engaging the timing of go or wait, then I can start making my move in. By planning out a good stock, in the long run, your hunts are all going to be a lot more successful.